And here we have COVID tip 11, eating healthy. I know it's not everyone's favorite. And uh, you don't even have to do it with every meal all the time. But honestly, if you want to keep your mind and your body healthy, then eating healthy is a very smart thing to do. So eat your fruits, eat your veggies, eat as natural as possible and as wholesome as possible. See if you can find ways to make that interesting. See if you can find recipes that you like. If you can find maybe new ingredients that excite you and just experiment a bit. You know, have, have some fun with it. I know for a lot of people when they think, oh, healthy food, that they think it has to be boring. But if you get some herbs, some spices and some interesting combinations, you can actually have some fun with it cooking and creating and that can just really be something you can actually enjoy and who knows maybe with some experimenting in that area you can actually create something amazing that you're going to be making for the rest of your life and that you're going to teach your kids and who knows who else but just getting that healthy stuff inside your body it doesn't only help your body be strong and get your vitamins and minerals in it again helps with your hormones, it helps with your mood, it helps with how well your mind is, it actually helps your brain, and it helps your immune system. So once again, eating healthy is fundamentally good for you. So especially in these times, it is incredibly important. And it is so easy to not do that. I know that. I know how easy it is to think, well, I'm tired, I'm fed up, I'm low on energy, so I don't feel like cooking, I'm just going to get a hamburger or fries or something unhealthy, I'm just going to get this ready-made meal from the supermarket, and sure you can do that every now and then, but that's not going to make you feel good long term, so make sure that at least a few times a week you eat healthy just it can help you so much it really can because here's the thing if you choose not to that that's all you you can I mean if, if you just want to eat crap that's that's your thing but what you put in your body actually decides how you feel how your body's going to respond to things how much energy you're going to have how your hormones are going to work how well your mind is going to function so if you already feel like crap and you're going to eat crap, basically what you're going to have is more feeling like crap. And you can do all the other things that I said earlier. But there's still going to be that online feeling of not quite getting there. And this is probably the reason. So that is something that is completely in your control. And that's something that you can change today. Now again, I'm not saying do it every day. I mean, it's probably best but honestly i don't do it every day um i know a lot of people are by the way so kudos to those but even if it's just a few a few days in the week to really really commit yourself to eating healthy to getting all your vitamins to getting all your natural stuff to getting all your minerals in and to really cooking and creating and making it something fun that can really really help you out during the rest of the week so yeah, make sure you do that and uh, let me know how it is. See ya.